Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it would really help me out in where I'm trying to get my channel to be. We're all equal in this world, but if you're chasing that job title, not through passion, you might want to think again. Now, how many people in society are trying to chase a certain job title in the fear that they won't be successful if they don't get that? Now, I think that when we're growing up through school and through college, and of course, people who have gone on to do university, will automatically think that, of course, they are going to go into this role. And fingers crossed, they're going to get there. And I'm sure you will if you're watching this. But don't be afraid if you find yourself in a role which isn't quite where you thought you were going to be. And perhaps it's not up the hierarchy ladder of life where you quite thought you were going to sit. But if you're happy and you're at peace and you're doing well, and perhaps your life's taking you off into different adventures and you're enjoying it, that's okay, my friend, because at the end of the day, that's all what we're trying to achieve. That's all what we're trying to aspire for. Now, the thing, unfortunately, which I was witness to a couple of days ago was a very ill-witted remark from somebody who I really didn't expect from one of my friends. I really didn't expect would pass such a comment. And that's actually um, trying to put it across in a context which I don't want to be detrimental or disrespectful at all in any way. But basically it was somebody, uh, it was one of my friends passing a comment that actually they were trying to achieve a certain role because they didn't want to end up in a certain situation in society. Now for me that is all wrong and it really did annoy me and wind me up. I've heard it several times, not from this, not from the same individual, but sadly unfortunately I've lived the circumstances where I've walked into a situation and I've seen Seen this happen. One of my actual uh, previous colleagues uh, unfortunately even lived this situation and I really did try to support this person and I was training them in the company I work for. Now unfortunately uh, they were present in a role which they didn't actually want to be in but it was the pressure from their parents who was pushing them in this role because they wanted their child to be successful and they were fearing that if their child didn't pursue that that they wouldn't be successful. I know incredible how sad. Now, a couple of days ago, when my friend passed this remark, it really did make me think, and it really did wind me up to think, do you know what, actually, I would have never thought that from you, but sadly, it's what a lot of people will probably think in society. I think sometimes life experience teaches us that as well, that actually when you're going through schooling and actually you think that you've got to get to a certain level to be successful, but actually that's not the case at all. People make a choice of where they want to be in this life. Now, unfortunately, sometimes people have got more choice than others and some impacting factors will of course always influence how easy that decision will be. And of course, life has different avenues. What it doesn't mean, on whatever path you find yourself on, it doesn't mean that you're not successful. Nine times out of ten, you're probably successful where you already are. It's yet you're eager to want to move on and learn something new or change the situation you're on. If you look at that window effect, if somebody was looking in your life, they probably actually in awe of your situation, thinking actually, look how you got through that situation which you dreaded, which you thought you'd never get through. That's what, for me, determines success. What doesn't determine success is when somebody is chasing a role in the fear of not wanting to end up somewhere in society. To me, I find that as a weakness because all the end, in the end, what you end up with is an empty certificate telling you that you're a person at a certain level, but yet where's your respect? Where's your integrity? Where's your passion? Where's your flair? Strange, isn't it? But when you put it like that, it is absolutely true. Now, I'm gonna give some time and I'm going to give my friend some time and eventually I will pick this conversation up again because in fact it really did upset me here to think actually that somebody who I associate with had that thought. Let's take this a little bit further that when we walk into a public building or when we walk into a hospital or when our children go off to school or our loved ones if they ever end up into an environment of care. Those people in society do incredible, valuable jobs, but unfortunately are not credited with number one, the financial reward, number two, the respect and the due care and consideration and admiration for the incredible job they do. But yet still, people will almost frown and look upon those roles. So for example, the people who look after our schools of which our children attend to nurture and grow incredible minds and skills and abilities to grow on and do incredible things in this world. 
It all starts with the people who look after those classrooms where our children go. For example, if we go to a hospital and we sit in a doctor's office, or if we have to have an operation, or if we have to have, uh, let's say, some blood work or something done, those environments are looked after, serviced, maintained by an individual, but yet, unfortunately, probably isn't valued or respected always, I'm not saying all the time, but the way of which we should in society. Let's take that further. When we walk into our office, if you work in an office environment or wherever you work, you expect it to be clean, looked after and comfortable for you to work in. You don't want to go into an office, do you, with dust and there to be dirt everywhere or for your, your conveniences not to be looked after and to be clean and well maintained. So those people looking after those vital and important jobs for you to be able to do your job why are they not always respected in society? Why are they sometimes looked upon to think, actually, that's a role I never want to find myself in? Have we ever stopped to think in society that those people who do those jobs may well choose to do those jobs because they have got a desire to want to look after, to be able to want to maintain something, to be able to give something in order to that big mechanism, which then we can go on and do our job. OK, it doesn't automatically think. In fact, most of the time, it doesn't automatically mean that that person hasn't got any other options, so they're going to do this job in society at all. Those jobs which my friend said they didn't want to end up as are actually some of the most valued, credible, important roles in society. Let's put it this way. I work in a role with figures, OK? And yes, I look after a forecast. And yes, I work in finance. And yes, I've worked hard. But is it vitally important to the role which somebody does who looks after somebody's treasured grandmother? Make sure that she eats when possibly sometimes because of her illness she may not remember to or she may not remember to take a sip of a beverage on a very, very hot day or remember to take her medication. Where's the value there? Am I just as important sat behind a desk crunching numbers or the individual who is looking after that treasured grandmother? That treasured grandmother was mine. So I valued every single moment of those people who looked after her when I couldn't be there. But yet somehow in society, we almost think that, oh, I wouldn't want to end up in that situation doing that role. That's the point when it doesn't matter when we're questioning how successful we are or the journey where we're going. We need to stop right there and then at that point when we're having those thoughts and have a word with ourselves, because we're not successful when we start to have those thoughts about those occupations, which are so important and so credible and so valued. Right there and then, we're not a great person. We're not being a great individual. We're not being positive. We're certainly not being very nice to others in this world. Remember, let's remember together, we've got one life. Why wouldn't you want to spend it by spreading positivity, doing good things and spreading kindness? Why wouldn't you want to do that? Why on earth would you treat somebody in that way? So, yeah, I'm not particularly very happy of a friend of mine at the moment, but I'll give it some time and I'll pick the conversation up. But it did make me think that actually I wanted to cover this on my channel to think that actually we are all equal in this world. No matter what, we are. There's no getting away from it. And I hate it if anybody else says otherwise. With all the world, what we live in today, with the wars and the disputes and things going on and the, the violence and the death of which is being caused by this. So if you're chasing a job title, but with no passion, then you might want to think again, my friend, because you don't have to be here to be successful. You don't have to have a role with a certain job title to be successful. It's our integrity. It's our very us with how we perceive things, how we understand things and how we put ourselves across in situations. Are we always respectful? Are we always kind? Are we always diligent to how people feel? And do you know what? Next time when you pass somebody in an office or in a hospital or wherever you are, and whether that be a janitor or whether that be a cleaner or whatever the person's described as in that organisation, sometimes have a think. Could you thank a person when you've just walked past them and you've seen that they've done something they've minded out the way for you? I unfortunately have quite a lot of hospital appointments and the amount of time that happens where the individual will come aside and they're in the middle of their job and yet people will walk past and won't say an absolute word, I find it disgraceful. So next time you're in that situation, have a think yourself. 
because nobody is better than anybody. We are all equal and we are all the same in rights of that actually, do you know what? We've all got the same choice, but we've got different impacting factors. That person may well choose, you know, to work in a service role and look after the environments you work in. It doesn't mean anything about education, knowledge, background or anything at all. In fact, that means very, very little. If that person wanted to, because of the incredible job they do, they've got so many transferable skills to go on and do other things. But no, they choose to look after the environment of which you find yourself in. On that note, that's all I think it would do us a real, a real, real good to take a moment sometimes and think. Because unfortunately, yes, we can pass an ill-witted remark like that. And we don't want to be nasty. We're not being nasty. But sometimes it happens. But let's always try to be respectful and support others. And if we can, let's spread that little bit more kindness and positivity. On that note, my friends, thank you very much for being here. And until next time, I look forward to seeing you there. God bless and take great care. Bye now.